Welcome to UTC AI Studio, AI-powered creativity fueled. Have you ever stopped and wondered what's really going on with junk mail that doesn't show up in your inbox? Well, today we're going to pull back the curtain on the hidden AI that's basically your personal email bodyguard fighting a non-stop battle to keep your digital life clean. Just imagine for a second. If your inbox wasn't just a passive mailbox, but what if it had a brain? Something that could actually think for itself, learning what you need, and more importantly, protecting you from what you don't. Well, the wild thing is it already does. That brain is artificial intelligence, and we are about to break down exactly how it all works. Yes, we all know spam is a pain, super annoying, but the real problem goes so much deeper than just clutter or a few wasted seconds hitting delete. It's a genuine security risk we are all facing every single day. The real reason your inbox is so clean is because of an invisible arms race. It's a constant escalating war fought between super sophisticated AI defenders and increasingly intelligent AI attackers. And it's all for control of your inbox. It's so easy to just dismiss spam as clutter, but a lot of it is way more dangerous. You know, these unwanted emails are the number one way scammers deliver phishing attacks to try and steal your identity or drop malware that can totally infect your devices. How in the world do you fight back against this constant flood of digital garbage and real danger? Well, the answer is you need a smarter defense. And that is exactly where AI comes into play. Honestly, the best way to picture this AI is like a super intelligent bouncer for your inbox. It's not just checking names off a list at the door. No, no, it's analyzing every single message, making these split second judgments to keep all the trouble out. And one of its key superpowers is something called natural language processing or NLP for short. And you got to understand this is a huge deal. It means that the AI doesn't just scan for a few suspicious keywords. It actually understands the meaning and the intent behind the sentences almost like a person would. And just like defenders using AI, attackers now use AI too. Remember the old phishing emails? They were usually pretty easy to spot, right? Full of bad grammar and weird typos. Well, the new phishing emails generated by large language models are a whole different beast. We're talking flawless grammar, personalized details about you, and just scary convincing text. And that right there is what makes AI the perfect gatekeeper. It's not just flagging obvious phrases like you've won a million dollars. It's doing some serious detective work. It's checking the sender's reputation, spotting weird links. And this part is absolutely crucial. It never ever stops learning. It can even spot crafty new tactics like a spammer trying to hide a bad link inside what looks like a harmless calendar invite. Now to build this AI brain, developers use a whole suite of powerful tools. Think of things like TensorFlow and PyTorch as the code engine, the part that actually makes the final call. Then you've got specialists like NLTK and Spassi, which are kind of like expert linguists that teach the AI to really understand human language. And finally, you have these super advanced models like BERT, which act like master detectives analyzing the deep context of the entire email. But how does a smart gatekeeper get so smart in the first place? It must be trained just like any student, right? It needs the right study materials. For an AI, that material is data, and I mean massive and massive amounts of it. This AI learns by just gobbling up and studying tons of examples. We are talking about huge public spam databases like Spam Assassin, real-time examples from user inboxes. Yes, when you mark something as spam, you're helping archives of known phishing attacks and lists of shady domains. It's basically a gigantic library of every bad email that has ever existed. So here's the million dollar question. How do you take all that raw data, that just jumbled mess of information, and turn it into a sharp, intelligent filter that can actually make decisions on its own? Well, it's a careful four-step process. First, all the data gets cleaned up and the text is broken down to individual words and phrases. That's called tokenizing. Then the AI starts pulling out key features like sketchy words or weird sender behaviors. Then it does a deep dive on the email headers to check if they're legit. And finally, all of this perfectly prepared data is fed to the model so it can study the patterns and learn what to look out for. And the way it learns is pretty cool. It's actually a two-pronged attack. The first way is called supervised learning. This is where we basically feed it digital flashcards, thousands and thousands of emails that we've already marked as either spam or safe. But the real magic, in my opinion, is unsupervised learning. 
This is where we just give the AI a mound of data and let it go exploring on its own, discovering brand new types of spam that no human has even spotted yet. Here's something you really need to get, building and training the AI. That's just the start, the real test, the real work begins. The second it goes live and starts its constant watch over our inboxes. Once it's trained up, that AI model gets put right to work. I mean, it's integrated directly into the email platforms we all use every single day, like Gmail and Outlook. It becomes that frontline defense silently working at the door for every single message that tries to get in. And it's not just making a simple yes or no decision, it's way more sophisticated than that. The AI actually gives every single email a probability score, like a confidence score. So an email with a 99% score is almost definitely spam, straight to the junk folder. But one with say a 20% score, it might just be a poorly written newsletter. That nuance is what makes it so accurate. But here's the thing, and this is so important. The AI's job is never ever done because you have to remember on the other side of this fight, are actual people, really clever spammers, who are always changing their tactics, always looking for a new way to beat the filters. It's a constant unending race. This creates this constant cycle of adaptation. It all starts when some new spam threat pops up. The AI is always watching, and it quickly detects this new pattern. Then almost instantly the model gets retrained with this new intelligence and an updated smarter filter is rolled out to everyone. And then the whole cycle begins all over again. It truly never stops. Researchers call this a non-stationary process, but you and I can just call it a relentless cat and mouse game where both sides are constantly evolving their tactics, sometimes literally hour by hour in direct response to what the other guy just did. So this constant battle, this back and forth leaves us with one final really important question to think about. In this relentless race between the AI defending our inboxes and the spammers trying to break in, who do you think is going to win? Because the answer to that question will probably shape the future of our digital lives. Thanks for watching UTC AI Studio, AI powered, creativity fueled. I'll see you in the next video, where we explore more AI integrations in our daily lives. Till then, as always, keep learning, keep building, and keep creating with AI.